So when someone hits the ball weak and it's shorter, too many players just are happy with that and wait and hit. So what I want, the first throw we did already, and you're gonna see now, is in the box where the ball comes. The player goes in and moves the feet quickly. Very important is that you stay low and shorten the backswing, right? So when you come in, especially in the box, you go short net hit. You go back split, go bum hit. So in the real match as well, can't go with a massive big backswing on a shorter ball. So you go, you split, you see it's shorter, you, you're ready, you compact, you compact, and then you go in and hit it. And it's very important right off the bounce to hit that ball, to take time of your opponent and to take the initiative. All you want to do is always take the initiative on the court because you don't want to be a reactive player on the court. So the first drill we do in the box.
All right, guys, so my player. So we went through the video quickly. That's always why I have like a video set up here. So as you see, he couldn't control it perfectly. One reason was he came too close to the ball. So he didn't judge the ball well. So we talked about it. So he has to have a, a better adjustment with the steps and time that better. And then one, one big thing, you know, what the human eye might not see what you see on camera because it was behind him. So when he hits, he rotates so much that the, that the left arm goes with him always back. So there's no control. Control is that left arm. Left arm stays, you hit, and then you just pull it in, pull it in a little bit and you try to keep it level. Try to keep it here. So go keep it there, control it, stay here. Go, try not, so when he hits, he likes to tend to do this. So everything rotates already open and he frames it. Control can only happen if this arm stays longer here and then he goes and keeps that kind of level with the shoulder. Let's see how he does now. That's it. 